Going to respond, second game here, coming back after that knee injury. And can he have that confidence and rely on his strength with his legs? Quick turn of three, knock down Russell Jones. Be able to do that, averaging over 300 passes per game, to moving the ball. That's what you have. It's going to be a call out of bounds and was not too happy, but turned happy once they did call the foul on Alex Williams. Well, right now, love Huey off the glass and in a quick 5-0 lead for the Catamounts. And is it a little extra motivation for Western Carolina? No question. I talked to Justin Gray about it. Now, he said from the coaching staff, maybe not so much, but for the players, definitely something that they think about. And one of the reasons why they work so hard in the offseason was out to Foster for a three. That's no. And a rebound taken down by the Catamounts. You could tell the intensity early on from the crowd. Fulbright patiently working against Heen off the glass and in. Montez Woolbright left out of screen. Smith into the lane, back out to Huey. He's looking for a second one. That one's off the mark. Rebound taken down by the Catamounts and DJ Campbell. Tell you what, when Woolbright gets it, he ate a full head of steam downhill. There he lays it again and lets out the third scream on the third made bucket. Guard not able to, once he gets going downhill, it's very difficult to stop. Shot swatted away by Williams. That's the third block early on for Western Carolina. Campbell off it, and it's a four-point game at 13. Quit trying to go all the way, finds Heen. A lot of contact, no call. Bodied up. Officials yeah. saying he went straight up, and the contact insinuated by Heen, and then there's Whit on the other side. It'll be Woolbright going to the line for two. Yeah, and Lampton is that big rim protector that transferred from College of Charleston that had the opportunity of slowing Garrett Heen down right there and, and then Vontarius Woolbright. This time a bit too strong. There you may not mind it, a little later in the shot clock. Position, spacing right there, and was he in the right space there trying to set that high screen? 13-1 to run, Woolbright takes it down as you would expect. And Williams being able to knock both of those down. He's tries to take it, misses the layup. Now the Woolbright and the Catamounts trying to cut into that nine-point deficit. Woolbright all the way down. I tell you what, he's had some success. Yeah, I think it just, can you take the opportunity of really focusing in, trying to get back into the paint and create some opportunities. And one way to do that, mental game in terms of just being able to finish strong. And it's exactly what happened right there. But Carter Witt with a nice follow-up. Woolbright down low, foul, and he'll go to the line for two. As Woolbright, again, what we saw in the first half, just opportunities to try to slowly work his way down the paint. Yeah, and this is a guy who gets to the free throw line a lot. I mentioned it earlier. He's sixth in the country getting to the free throw line in terms of number of attempts, first in the Southern Conference. Woolbright sends it far side, three on the way, off the mark. Weak side rebound, Woolbright. He's going to probably try to go back up with it. Double team comes. The rim before it rolled off. The geese floater in the lane, left it short. Kind of in that. Please psychologically into some of these players. Foster has it blocked. Another block down low, and that's five for Western Carolina. Woolbright into the lane, counted on the foul, and he'll go to the line for one. Foster against Woolbright, what a battle here. Two upperclassmen. Foster out to Smith, four to shoot. Contested jumper off the rim, Woolbright rebound. Good defense by one on the shot clock. Woolbright wants it right back with five to shoot. He's going to turn, square, fire three, count it. Bacteria on the way, well off the mark. Furman, just two points in this second half. Cut him out for the midst of an 8-0 run. Woolbright trying to give Western the lead. Right now, I think they're going to dare him not to score. Reverse layup in. And predicated by defensive pressure there by Carter Witt, causing that turnover and getting out in transition. And nice job by Ben Vanderwall to finish it. Big three from the corner by Jay. Shooter and can get hot any moment. All right, eight to shoot. Backing down Foster, spins, goes up with it and finishes. Monterey's one. Type of penetrations in one-on-one -on -one offensive sets. And obviously we know you can with Woolbright. One to shoot, but a foul right before the shot clock. And it'll be two at the line for Woolbright. And I know Alex Williams is very frustrated right there of being able to get in the paint and drawing fouls. There's Foster spins, working against Campbell, blocked from behind as Woolbright comes to throw it out of bounds. You see Foster getting to the lane right there, and Woolbright with a nice deep nine games this season was able to find him in the corner, and Foster knocks it down. Woolbright turns the corner, left hand, can't finish, own rebound, yes! Woolbright with his offensive board to go back up one.
Uh, hey, Wilbert runs it down. 16 on the shot clock. Wilbright calls for a screen and now the switch. Wilbright trying to get it down low. Three for the tie. Yes, knocked down by Campbell. And a time open three point shot with the close out there, though. But you can see JP gets there just not quick enough. And this was a scenario where it looked like the offensive rhythm there for the Catamounts was disrupted by Alex Williams with the deflection there. But DJ Campbell, a big shot right there to tie this game with 17 seconds. And now things quickly turn 